Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from Jason Games, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial series. Now, last time what we did was we made it to where we could travel between scenes by hitting play and moving, and we can move into a room, and, we, and I made it to where we can move out just by doing the exact same thing on the other side. So, now what we're going to do this one is we're going to kind of smooth up that transition because it's really quick and it's really annoying in my because it's kind of blinking. So I'm going to go to enter room and I'm going to change this. So we have this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this by hitting command X. And I'm going to say if, and we also did, forgot to set up the um, collider. So I'm going to say if col.gameObject.tag is equal to tag name. Um, then instead of saying, instead of some of you guys know that starting a function, you just say the function name. So let's say it was function start, and then you open up the parentheses. We're not going to do that. We're going to say start core o routine, and then open this, and then um, parentheses, not parentheses, quote marks, and we're going to say enter or exit. Okay, then we're going to go down to add this function and we're going to say I enumerator and we're going to call this enter or exit. Open up this function and in this function we are going to say um, this, and, but before that we're going to say, and in between both of these we're going to say yield return new wait for seconds I cannot type today and we're going to say 0 0.5 F semicolon and so now, what that should do is that's going to wait half a second before transferring us to our next scene. So we're going to go test this by coming in here. One misses. Okay, so you see that's just about half a second. And so now I want it to fade. So I'm going to go to Game Object, UI, Image. I'm going to set this right here, the center. I'm going to hit Shift, Alt, and make it to where it always stretches so it fits the entire screen. Then I'm going to set this color to black and set the alpha all the way down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make some animations for it. Now this is the beautiful thing about Unity 4.6 is I can actually animate a fade in animation. So yeah, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to go record. I'm going to create a new clip called fade in. I'm going to take this and then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to image and I'm going to hit color. Now, this color, it needs to fade in, so this color will need to be alpha all the way up. And I'm changing this fourth channel, by the way. And this last one will need to be all the way like that. Now, this is really long, in my opinion. This needs to be right there, because that's half of one second. And that's a very good fade animation. I'm going to hit the record button again. I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a new clip. And I'm going to call it Fade Out. And I'm going to basically do the same thing by going to um, Image Script Color. Move this in. And this one will be white. And this one, actually, no, this one needs to be full alpha. So it fades out. And it fades back in. OK. So now. We got that. That should work. Okay, so that phase it out. Now we need to set this up to work. So we're going to go to our animator, and you'll notice that we've already got these two states. Now, because we want it to fade out in the beginning, we're going to set this one to the default clip. Also, now if we play this right now, you'll notice it does that over and over again. It actually hurts my eyes a bit. So, and we don't want that because that's very unpleasing to the viewer. So we're going to go here to these two clips, and we're going to click on loop time to disable it so it doesn't loop. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to make some parameter first so we can control our transitions by going to parameters, bool, um, is fading. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a transition between fade out, drag it to fade in, and then create a transition from fade in. Okay, so for fade out, for fade in, we need this to be tr we need to set we need to go down to conditions and go to is fading set that to true and then pretty sure actually correction this needs to be exit time is set to one so that we have one second between when we fade in and when we fade out and then this one needs to set to is fading is true so now if we hit play who knows? Does that? That doesn't do anything. I don't know why it's doing that. Must be the other way around. Uh, I'm gonna set this one to exit time. This one. So this one has is fading is true. Okay, that was it. So now that that works, we are going to continue by writing our script. So now. We are going to name this fade, and then we're going to go into our inter room script. Now we're going to go and add a new variable. We're going to add a public animator a and I am, and then on this we're going to say um, a and I am dot set bool um, is case sensitive, so it's going to be I think it was is fade, is fading, is fading, comma, true, and then semicolon to end that. Then we're going to, after this, when we wait to load the scene, then we're going to go down here and say, and that set rule is fading to false. And then, what that should do is make it to where um, the object fades in and out. And so let's try it by going in here. And no errors, so I'm going to hit play. Actually, I do have an error. And I want to see, if, is there a play on load? There is not. All right. So we'll do that, but now we need to go to our game object and set this animator to image. We're going to click on this and click on fades. Then we're going to play. As soon as we enter the room, it fades in. That works really sharply. Now it might not fade. And now it doesn't fade right there. So let's go back and fix that. We're going to save. Go back into our room, go to player, game object, set the image. Oh, go to oh, we don't have a fade object. So we need to make another script, basic script called don't destroy on load. C sharp script called don't, um, I'm just going to call it don't destroy. There. I'm going to double click to open this, and in this don't destroy, I'm going to say don't, I'm going to create a variable. I'm just going to say don't destroy on load game object, case sensitive, semicolon, save. Huh. Um... Let me figure out how don't destroy unload transform. Okay, so we're going to say just, yeah. And that should be, oh, this needs to be in void start. And then just tab this over. 
that should work. And now, when we drag this onto our canvas, well, yeah, we need to drag this onto our canvas. Then we play, kind of fades in. I don't really like that. Then we fade, and then it doesn't do it because we haven't set the. First of all, cancel. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to walk into the moon. So now it's two canvases, and our player, I don't think, has the animator yet. So now we're just going to set this to always be fade. That doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, well, that's weird. So now I'm going to, so I am going to, yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. You'll see it's much smoother. I'm going to. Actually, no, I know how to do this. Um, we go back into our room, go to canvas, and we're going to add a new game up, uh, an image. And we're going to, again, set this to the shift all size of the screen and the black. Actually, we want it to be white because you're exiting the room. And then we're just going to give it, going to give it an animator, give it the runtime avatar image. So now we need to set that on our player as image. Don't see why it isn't working. I bet our barrier's messed up. Bottom up, oh, yep it is. So we need to set that to door. Now now we can fade between scenes. Ah, so there is a problem now because we have we still have that fade object coming in. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Just don't destroy on load script. And now it's playing on the startup. So I don't really want that to happen. So I'm gonna make an idle state. So as soon as it's faded out, I'm gonna create a substate empty and transition from fade out. To here and that and this transition will be if is fading is equal to false. Um, so now and then I also need one. Actually, this needs to be under the fade in. So this is. Delete, create state, empty, drag a transition from fade in, and then a transition to that. Actually, it needs to be, we need to get rid of this one. And this one. So this one will be if is fading is equal to false, and this one will be if is fading is equal to true. Half we play. Does that. Um, set this to black. Let's try flipping it around again. Um, by going to here, setting this is fading to true. And set this exit time to one. Um, so now, so now it's pulling that constantly. Um, I think I understand the problem. The problem is that it's not fading, and so it's going to automatically be 
like that. So now I'm just going to create a motion, quick motion of it transparent. And that should work. I'm going to go to animation. I'm going to click on the image, go to animation, create a new clip called idle, and then add a color. Let's set each of them to be transparent. Then, stop recording, go into my animator, and this state will replace it. So this will be if is fading, is equal to true, and this will be if it's trading, fading is equal to, now that, this one needs to be a false. It kind of does that. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, so next tutorial we'll be working on that and fixing that up. So thanks.